I'm Judy Shaw for NYC Floor Talk. Joining me today is Frank Calderoni. He is CEO at Velocity Global. Frank, it's wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining Judy, me. Judy, it's great to be here. Oh, thank you thank so you. much. Now, I'm looking forward to talking with you, but before we do that, just a quick note to our viewers. This interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSC doesn't recommend any investments or investment strategies. All right, so Frank, tell me about Velocity Global. So Judy, at Velocity Global, we're an employer of record company. And what we do is we enable our customers uh, to expand their business borderless around the world. And that could be across the United States from state to state, or it could be in different countries around the world. Uh, the problem that companies have when they're looking for expansion is they don't necessarily always have a legal entity in various countries. And that can take sometimes 18 to 24 months to set up. Plus there's a tremendous amount of cost. And there's also an effort uh, on behalf of the company to invest talent to do that. So what we do is we, because we have, we operate in 185 countries around the world, and we have the infrastructure and the compliance requirements necessary in order to do this pretty quickly. So if you're a customer of ours and you want to open up a business, you want to hire some individuals, let's say in Eastern Europe, we will do that for you. And in a matter of weeks, we can get those employees onboarded on our payroll, doing what you need to run your company. Okay. All right. So Frank, tell me, with the economic landscape and talent, talent shortages as a backdrop, what demand are you seeing in the market for its services and products? So the demand is uh, very robust. And there are several factors that I think have contributed to that. First, over the last few years with COVID, there's been a significant drain of talent from the market. Millions of people globally left the market in 21 and 22. So the, even though there, it, the, the challenge from an economic perspective right now, it's an employee's market because there's such a need for talent. Getting that talent in various countries around the world is what companies are looking for. And that's, that's really what we help them do. And it could be talent like engineers, it could be um, sales personnel, it could be finance personnel. So we go across all functions to provide that type of skill. And the other thing I would say, which is another market uh, indicator right now, is companies are looking for cost efficiencies. And sometimes, especially when you're in a high cost center, you wanna diversify into lower cost regions in the United States or in the other parts of the world. And that's another factor that comes into play when our customers work with uh, Velocity Global. All right, so Frank, you are new to the CEO role at Velocity Global. Tell me, how will your background and previous experience scaling companies help drive success in this new role? So Judy, I spent, uh, prior to joining Velocity Global, six years, close to six years at Anaplan. And I entered Anaplan uh, at a similar stage of where Velocity Global is right now. Great product, great people, but with an opportunity to scale and really build a company over a number of years. And during that time, we invested in our technology to really kind of expand from what we were providing as a financial budgeting tool to a much more comprehensive offering of connected planning across different functions. And we also built out uh, the go-to-market with different partners uh, and various others in our ecosystem. Velocity Global is at a similar state where great product, great people in that fantastic space. And we now have to take that to a whole new level by investing even more in our product technology investing even more in a go-to-market so we can go after this extremely growth opportunity. Right now, the TAM is about $30 billion and companies like Velocity Global only make up about one or 2% of that. So this could be even a bigger opportunity than what I saw at Anaplan. Okay. Um, so now tell me, what hiring slash talent trends are you following closely right now? So we're looking at um, markets uh, where there seems to be talent developing that we could offer to our customers. One market that I would say that I've seen even just in the last couple of weeks is South America. Uh, we at, at Velocity Global just made an investment for our engineering team in Brazil. Brazil, Argentina, other countries now have a much uh, broader uh, set of skills, especially from a technical perspective, to be made available to various country uh, companies that are either based in the United States or based in Europe. And that's one area that I've seen come up, and I think that's going to be a, a large potential for many companies to leverage going forward. Frank, you are also an author. 
So you wrote a book on why character is vital for company growth. Um, walk me through your leadership philosophy and what can others take from your experience? So I, I wrote Upstanding uh, right in the middle of COVID. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I had a chance to kind of step back and reflect uh, for the many advantages that I've seen over the years. And I've been fortunate to work for some really great companies uh, like IBM and Cisco and Red Hat that have had really strong cultures. And I learned a lot from those cultures and also the people, whether they were the other executives or people in the organization. And so as I was um, kind of spending a little bit more time, I reflected back and said, I, I could offer others, especially leaders, uh, some insight as to some of those experiences. And I firmly believe that um, just like culture is important, more important than that is even the character. And I think character is built on having a great culture. It's just like individuals have character and it makes who they are. Companies have a character too. And if you spend your effort understanding and developing that character, it means so much for the employees in that company to really resonate and feel like they belong. And when they belong and they resonate with the vision, they're gonna be more enthusiastic about what they do. Second, it also goes beyond the walls of your company because it starts going to your customers, your partners, and the communities that you reach out to. And if that character is known and has a positive vibe, others are gonna to wanna to attach to it and it extends even beyond that. I saw that with Anaplan. It's one of the great things that I, if I look back over those six years, it was fantastic to see the development of the culture, the development of the character in the company and the ecosystem. We called it the Anaplan community. And people would like, they would just thrive on not only using our product, but working with the Anaplanners and getting you know, different types of recognition for being master Anaplanners. And I think that's important for all organizations and, and I value that. And I expect to do even more of that at Velocity Global. All right, well, Frank, wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk. Thank you, Judy.